What's on first? What's on first? It's reactive. Do your impression of Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick. Rick. Boing. 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 He actually banged the camera. <laughs> Hello, what's offended, the Rick? reactive? Boing. Take it away, Rick. Please. Boing. Hello, chums. It's time to get reactive. What? Who's this guy? Sign the script. I don't believe <laughs> Adams, and welcome to another exciting experience called Reactive. Hey, this is my show. Temper, temper. Get off. I'm really sorry about that. So, what is on the show then, Rick? Uh, well, let's have a look then, uh, shall we? Mm, um, ah, Peter. Peter, how's the skiing going? Peter. Peter. Oh, he's obviously enjoying himself there. Mm. Uh, and two of you from our database could be controlling this fabulous game. It's Clockwork Night, and it's the ultimate 3D platform game. And I'm back in the reactive control room with a brand new challenge that any of you databases can take can have a go in. And uh, you can choose any of these computer games that you want to play, and we'll play it later. So keep watching to see which choice is chosen. Thanks so much, Emma. Is he gone? Yes, that's good. OK, well, uh, if you haven't already logged on, then here's how you do it. Let's have the address out. There it is. And also, if you've got a computer, why don't you email us at this address here? And why don't you log on by phoning this number at the top of the screen, 0 1007 Seven, course cost a maximum of 15 pence, but ask permission first. Now, if you haven't logged on, I'm not going to beg. All right, then. Pretty please. Pretty please with sugar on top. And put the chocolate bits and, of course, the flour and then the milk in here. And then you whisk it up. Closer up, please. Pete, there we go. Come in there. There we go. That's great. And, of course, we pop it in the oven. And here's some I made earlier. Marvellous, aren't they? Thanks very much. Made them myself. OK, right now, uh, of course, thousands of you have logged on already. And if you have, I could mention your name at any time and you could win yourself a reactive pen. But I can't be bothered to do it now. Oh, apparently I've got to do it, sorry. Uh, Warren Elliott in London. Well done, you've won yourself a reactive pen. Yay! But now we need some eggs. So could... Great, thanks. Uh, actually, uh, so if you've got a box of eggs... We... Yeah, great stuff. OK, so that can help you play barcode bonus. And here's today, it's the first computer, day, computer game challenge, and it's called Clockwork Night. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh. oh, stop complaining, Pete. It's only a plastic sword. It's not even real. And the guy in the game doesn't use a sword anyway. He uses a key. So let's uh, try it out, shall we? <laughs> that was completely pointless. Sorry about that. Are you trying to wind me up? <laughs> now, of course, we've got our first database online and ready to play. It's Matthew Johnson. Hello, Matthew. Hi. You're in Gwent. And let's see your phone pad pop out, shall we? Oh, there it goes. Now, we're going to go through the keys, the ones that you need to play this game. First of all, let's press four. That'll take you left. There we go. Press six. That'll take you right. Very good. OK, zero is attack. Ah! And hash is jump. <laughs> OK, that's great. So let's go to the game. You've got one minute to collect as many points as possible. Okay. So take it away. Go, Matthew! And on the left there, you've got three cogs which show you how much light you've got left, Matthew. OK, so away you go. And uh, you've just lost one. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have mentioned it, really, should I? Uh, so jump up on top of those. And you've got to move as fast as possible to see if you can get as many points. Don't forget that there is another player later on. Jump! Use your hash key! Use the hash key! Oh. Oh, oh, yes, that's great. And jump on that key, because that'll give you some extra points. You've got 240 points. Now jump over that, and you want to get this particular piece there. You're invincible now. So go, 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 and press 666. Six, 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 six. Away you go. And run, run, run. Because that'll up your points. It's going up considerably. You're doing very well. An average score was about 2,000 points, so you're doing very well indeed. So keep going. Jumping over there, and you want to avoid these houses that collapse. Oh, no! Oh, you just lost another uh, cog there. Sorry about that. Keep going along. Six, jump, jump. Oh, dear. And keep going. You've got to press six, jump, and then jump on top of that key. We need some more points there. OK, keep going. You've got 2,160 points, and you've got seven seconds left on the clock. Jump over that box, and away you go. Down. <laughs> He's trying to fly now. Oh, dear. That's it. OK, there's no time left, and you've got 2,400 points. That's pretty good, Matthew, isn't it? Yeah. You pleased with that? Yeah. Well, there'll be another challenger later on. You sound very confident. Okay. And they'll see if they can beat you. OK. <laughs> OK. Right, well, uh, enough of all that. Anyway, so let's get on with the game. And, of course, later on, uh, we'll be finding out if we've got the barcode bo bonus, because later on, uh, we've got some great stuff coming up for you. So, over to you, Emma. Thanks, Rick. Now, there are thousands of egg boxes in homes around Britain, like this one. And what we want you to do is get the barcode total on the back of it, like this one, and add up the numbers on the bottom. Now, what we want you to do is keep that number very safe because we've added up ours and reactive, and it's in this envelope here, which is going to be revealed to you later. Now, if your number matches this one, you could win yourself this cinema pass. 
Oh, a cinema pass and it'll help you go free to cinema once a month for an entire year. Now, here's something even more amazing. Not one, not two, but 12 databases all online, ready to play. Knockout! Yes, friends, it's time to play Knockout and... I better take these off. Hang on just a second so we can play the game. And we've got 12 databases online and ready to play. Here they are on the board. And let's speak to... Well, let's have a look at Saskia, who's down the board there. That's a groovy name. Hello, Saskia. Hi. Hi, how are you? All right, thanks. Are you tense and nervous? Yes. Oh, well, you won't want to do this then. Oh, OK. Now, uh, let's speak to another caller. Um, but actually, let's explain how the game goes first. Because... No, let's speak to another caller. David? Hello. Um, could you give us a hand? How do we explain the game? Um... They, you ask us questions right. and we got to give you the answers. Right, OK, yeah, that seems pretty straightforward to me, David. Great stuff, thank you very much for your help. That's good. OK, now we go on to our first question and away you go. Good luck to all you callers. Here we go. What is Mrs Tiggywinkle? Is she one, a rabbit, two, a hedgehog or three, a mouse? Push your buttons! <laughs> OK, of course the answer was a hedgehog, so we lose uh, Philip, David, Rhea and Nikki. And well done, you guys. You push your buttons very quickly and very fast. That's what we want. Now, second question. Which hedgehog would you like to find in a computer game? Is it one, Lemmings? Is it two, Sonic? Or is it three, Super Mario? Push your buttons really fast and as fast as you go, because otherwise if you slow, you go out. Oh, you've all stayed in. Well done. Of course, the answer was Sonic. And here's another question for you. Uh, which Star Trek character has pointed ears? Is it Captain Kirk? One. Is it two, Bones? Or is it three, Mr. Spock? Push your buttons, go! Oh, OK! Oh, well done. We've, we've lost Saskia, Nikki and Amy. And here's your final question. Here it is. Which of these is the name of a space shuttle? Is it one, Voyager? Is it two, Traveller? Or three, Wanderer? And it's your last question. It's all up. That's it. Well done. There's three of you. Well done to you. You win yourself a whole load of board games and you need never be bored ever again. OK, well done to you. Now it's time to go over Emma to Emma for some more Barco Bonus M. Now, have you added up your barcode bonus totals yet? Because I'm about to reveal ours, so stand by, it's in this envelope. And today's number is 28. Now, your total is also 28. Call us now on this special number, 0181 811 81 81. But remember, we have a way of knowing if you're making it up. You could win a great prize. Call us now. Action! That's really great, Emma. Oh, no, I wasn't happy with that, love. So can we try that again? Thanks for that's really great, Emma. Thanks. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. OK, right now it's time to play our second round of the Computer Game Challenge. And, of course, we've got Hayley. Hayley, hello. Hi. Hayley Davis from London. How are you? I'm fine. OK, now you could do a little bit better than Matthew. Matthew's got 2,400 points. Pretty tough score to beat, OK? I think I'm first. You think you can do all right? Yeah. Good luck. Well, let's have, have a look at your uh, phone pad. Let's pop it out. There we go. 4, 6, 0 and hash are the keys you've got to remember. OK, so let's play the game. And you've got one minute to score as many points as possible. So away you go, Hayley. And, of course, you've got to see if you can beat Matthew's score. It was very good indeed. Oh, my goodness. Ow. Jump on top of those things. Oh, well, you've certainly got the right idea. Very aggressive is Hayley. So moving along with your six keys should take you off those blocks. Away you go. Jump up with your hash button and onto the key. Ah! Oh, no, we missed it. <laughs> go back over the top. And this means you're going to be invincible. So you've got to go as fast as possible. And this is going to get rather interesting now because Hayley possibly could win. So keep going as fast as you can with your six key. Away you go, away you go. Faster and faster and faster until you can do it no more. Oh, and... Oh, no, you got attacked by that house there. Man. No houses could attack you. Anyway, you lose valuable seconds there. You've got, uh, you've got uh, a real chance there because, of course, we've got 2,000 points. So you can do is get another 4,050, maybe. 450 just to beat Matthew's score. So away you go. Keep going, keep going. As fast as you can. You're very close to it now. Jump over those blocks. Use hash. Use hash. Ah, you got five. Oh, I don't believe it. You've got three seconds left. I don't think we're going to make it. That's it. We've run out of time, Hayley. That is the closest competition we've ever had. Congratulations, Hayley. I'm sorry, but we've got yourself a reactive T-shirt. That's what you've won, which is really good. And, of course, earlier on, Matthew, you've won yourself this great talking camera. Oh. Yay. oh, sorry about that. Oh, I thought I was a goner then. Oh, so did I. OK, now it's time to go over to Peter, who's down on the slippery slope for our reactive arcade challenge. Pete. <laughs> Well, it could be, Rick, because it's day three in our Arcade Championship Challenge, and so far, the number one position is held by that little guy from Scotland, Ewan, with a mind-blowing 32 flags. But that could all change as our next challenger steps up into the skis for their chance to win that fantastic 3DO machine. Hello, Emma. Hello. Are you well? Yes. And where are you from, Emma? Cardiff in Wales. Are you confident about this challenge? Yeah. You are? Yeah. It's Wales against Scotland. Take it away, Emma. Go! Uh, go! And we're up. Going up to the first gate. Cleanly through. Second and the third. Yes, three out of three so far. Now we're on to four. 
Again, the numbers to remember on the top right hand corner of your screen. Six out of six flags. 47 seconds. Time extended just there. Each time Emma goes through, okay? Her seconds are extended. Those black bits are the slippy bits. Around to the right, so the yellow arrows set. Down the hill, steep hill, sharp left. Christmas trees approaching. And she fell, forward tumble. Some acrobats, waiting some seconds. Come on, Emmy, you don't need that. There's the ski jump sign. Around to the left, her thin the red. Seven. Time extended, under the bridge. 24 flags, 32 is the score to beat. 26, 27, 28, she's got two seconds extended. One, two, extended again to a second. But we should make it no, our time is up. Well, after that, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And we find in third position, we have Michelle on 26. In second there, with a great run, was Emma on 30. And the number one position is still held by that guy from Scotland, Ewan, on 32. Join us tomorrow to see if he's going to be beaten. Emma, over to you. Thanks, Peter. And now, for the very first time on Reactive, it's your choice. And it's a choice of computer games that you want to play. So let's see what we've got today. You could be playing Bug. You saw it on Tuesday. And you could have another chance to help Bug collect his gems. Or what about Tekken and pit your wits against our secret computer expert? Or you could attempt to speed your way around Daytona, USA. And we set that lap time to beat. I've got Daniel on the line. Hello, Daniel. Hi. Where are you calling us from? Um, from Chester. From Chester. Well, come on, because we're all dying to know. What do you want to play? Well, I'm trying to play Daytona USA. Daytona USA. OK, then let's have a look at your phone pad on the screen and press the buttons four and six. Check they're working. There you go. And uh, we've decided you've got to do this in 27 seconds, but um, you've got a minute to do it. So okay. let's have a look at the game. And off you go. Oh, you're doing very well at the moment. Remember, it's keys four and six for left and right. And the accelerator's automatic. I think you've played this game before. Doing very well there. You might even make it in the first lap. Watch this bend, round the bend, there you go. Gently on the keys, you're doing really well. Well done, you did it. You didn't even, you didn't even need the minute there, did you? No. All right then, now the game was, it's your choice. You chose your game, now you can choose your prize out of these three. You can have a personal CD player, a mini telly, or a Game Boy. What are you going to go for? Um, can I have the Game Boy, please? You certainly can. This is on its way to you now, and I'll see you tomorrow for Stoke Up the right. Boiler. We certainly will, Emma. Thanks for that. Now, do you remember this? Uh, so, if your barcode bonus total on your box of eggs matches this number, you could be in for a great surprise. And here, Hotfoot rushing in. I think we've got it. Oh, haven't we got it? Oh, it's coming in now. Look at this. It's so live, this programme. There we go. It's uh, Robert Chignall from Collier Row. Hello, Robert. Hello, Robert. Are you there? Is Robert there? It's not there. OK, I think... We haven't got any other backup callers, have we? Let's have a look. Oh, have we got anybody else who's won a uh, barcode bonus? We've got someone else. Oh, it's James Sinclair. James, you won as well, because, of course, thousands of people may have the same number. It's difficult to get through, of course. Now, James Sinclair, hello. Hi. Oh, can you sound a bit happier? <laughs> OK, Hi. now, what's the size of your egg? Two. It's two. It is. Well done. You've won yourself that fantastic uh, uh, cinema ticket, which is brilliant. Whoa. OK, so well done to you. So, and you will also give you a month's worth of popcorn to go with that, OK? Is that OK? Yeah. That's cool. James, could you sound happier, please? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well done to you. Well, I'll, I'll probably come with you and actually uh, have some of this pop come as well. OK, now we've got time for a quick riddle here, and Ken's going to do it for you. Oh, yes. Hello, ladies. Well, here's a riddle for you. What's got two legs and a ladder you can't climb? If you know the answer to this, then for, there it is, our log-on number, 0990 1007 77. Of course, yes, course cost a maximum of 15 pence, and you could win a great prize. Here it is. Where is it? Somebody's moved it. No, it's not. Here it is. It's <laughs> the Star Trek clock. Everything, everything's going well here, isn't it? We're back tomorrow at Reactive 420. See you then. Wow.